Hello and welcome. Uh, to this live demo. Uh, yesterday we talked about DNS and uh, DHCP. Uh, in this demo I won't install anything. Uh, you might have guessed that I should, should inspo install Bind or Windows DNS, but I will wait for our cloud solution to be ready. Um, so this may be, be quite short demo, but I will talk a little bit more about DNS and how we can use NS Lookup and how domain registration work. Um, so the first thing that uh, I think we're going to do is try to register a domain name. Um, these domain names cost money. Uh, if you want them to be publicly accessed, you can set up your own uh, domain internally and use it, but it won't be able to be accessed uh, outside your network. Uh, so if you just Google by domain name, you will get a lot of uh, registrators who want to sell domain names. And these registers has the ability to tell the top level domain that you're trying to buy that you want to uh, register one of those domains. And there are a lot of them. Uh, and it's quite hard to choose which one to use. Usually you start with one and if you think they work, then you will continue working with them. So you gather all your bills from one company. Uh, here in Sweden, I've been using a, a web hosting company um, before, but today I think we're going to try something else. I've, let's see, GoDaddy, I've tried before. They have quite a lot of commercial on their site. Uh, and want us to buy a lot of other things with the domain name. Uh, I have heard something about this name cheap because I'm not going to use this domain that I buy now so I want a quite cheap one. <laughs> uh, and here you can buy them for as low as uh, one dollar uh, for a year so that's quite good. If you want to try it out, um, let's see. You can ask questions if you want, either in the live coding TV chat, or if you're a student, I encourage you to use uh, uh, Slack uh, for questions. Yes, so good. Uh, DevOps is something that we are uh, talking a lot about in this program. And I just checked before this demo and here we have quite cheap domain for uh, around a dollar a year. Um, so I've never used this service before so I hope it's <laughs> it, this will work. I don't have any account or something like that. On, so I'm not sponsored by, <laughs> by this domain at all. Uh, and here we see in our, oh, let's see how we, if you see it, no, my face is in the way. You don't see that in the classroom, but my face is up in the corner. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, let's see, I put it in my shark cart. Yeah, viewed cart. We, uh, the I, ICA, uh, they have a fee. Uh, so the rest of the money goes to the, the registrator. Uh, and I will only have this for uh, this demo probably, so <laughs> I don't want to purchase for more than one year. Uh, these registrators usually have a lot of other services that, I, that they want you to buy from them. Uh, like this one here, we have one year subscription for who is card. And um, when you register a domain name, they want you to fill out a lot of information about your company, uh, or if you're a private person about you, address and email. And these will be 
able to be accessed uh, if you look up the domain. Who is the owner of this domain name? And some of these have this guard system, so they will st state their name on the who is information, so you don't get a lot of emails and stuff like that. This is free uh, for one year, it looks like, so we can use that. And usually they have a lot of other premium services you have to check. But usually you can just ignore them uh, if, you don't, if you're not interested and don't know where it is. Here you probably can save, uh, uh, buy a web hotel and add uh, uh, integration for Google and stuff like that. And now I will set up an account. I don't have an account here. You won't, will not see this <laughs> because I don't want you to know my information. Uh, and this is not something that you have to do to take this course, but since it's so cheap, uh, I encourage you to do it. Uh, so let me just fill in my information. Uh, and I have a domain list, and hopefully here my domain will be. It has an expired date. Uh, let's see. They usually they have uh, their own DNS, which they have registered at first for my domain name. So all the query, they have contacted the XYZ top domain level. Uh, and ask them to make a delegation to their domain name servers. Uh, so if I want to use my own name servers, I first has to have to uh, install some sort of name server, uh, and they will have to have a public IP address. I will then create this zone, uh, devopslab.xyz, uh, and configure some settings there. Then I can go back to this uh, service and make a domain. Uh, I can could just make the new name servers uh, and change them to my name servers. And where I do this, uh, I don't know on this site. Uh, let's see. This is probably just the management for the exploration. We'll see. the fastest site in the world. Yes, I got an, uh, an answer on the on live coding TV. You can use no IP. You can use, if you don't have a publicly IP address, you can uh, get a, a service which uh, help you update your IP address, uh, but for a, uh, for a company you, you shouldn't be do the, doing that because when you change the IP, uh, there will be some downtown on the service, and you don't want that. Here we have a lot of extra services, probably. <laughs> yes, name servers. Here you see that I have their own name server, basic. I probably can choose, yes. And that here I will enter my IP addresses for my name servers. I will do this when we have our cloud up and running and installed our DNS servers, uh, name servers there. Then we will transfer this. But hopefully I can do some editation, add some records or something like that uh, in their DNS. Advanced DNS, maybe. Yes. Here they have some web interface for changing uh, records or adding records. Uh, they have a C name record for www. So www. Uh, what did I choose? DevOpsLabs.xyz will go to this address. Uh, so probably they have some default site over here 
saying that my domain is parked. Yes, very nice. Uh, in this domain. Uh, I could change that to something else, of course. Uh, and here I could add new records. We have talked about some resource records. Hopefully you will uh, know some of these. A record uh, and quadruple A records, and C name and name servers. Uh, so just to add something so we can see if we can find that later. Just, just add my name and I will have an IP address. And this could be anything. Uh, you can have a local address if you want that. Uh, but it won't be so useful uh, outside your network. But I will just add uh, some address here. And here you see we have the time to live, which is quite important. Uh, we'll look into that. We have something automatic, and they probably the, it will then choose the default one that is on the, the in zone file. Uh, I haven't seen what that I value is, but we can look at that later. So here we added a, a record. So let's have a look at the nslookup command. And this command will be a, um, uh, available in both Windows and in Linux system and uh, OS X. They may differ some in the uh, how you use them, but uh, you probably just need to change one little name of an argument or something like that to make it work. But for the most part, they will uh, work the, uh, quite the same. So ns look up, if you just type that command, we will enter into a console for that command. You can just, can just type ns look up and then uh, state an address that you want to look up, google.com. And by default, it will use your, uh, uh, the, the name server that has been configured on your network card. So I can see that there, but uh, this is the name server that is, I've gotten probably from my DNS server. Uh, and that's a server here at LNU. And it will then a ask a question for a, a record for the name I, I wanted to look up. So this is the first uh, web server probably that Google uh, will want me to use to contact that uh, web server. Uh, if I just enter the command, I will come to the console. And uh, it will do the same thing if I just type the uh, domain name. You see here that I got also a message, a non-authoritative answer. And what that means is that my name server that I'm connecting to, connected to and asking these questions are not, uh, does not host the, uh, have the host file zone file for this domain. So uh, it has contacted some other name server to got, get this information. So that is what it's stating. Uh, if I look up my newly added dev oops, lab, hmm? This will probably not work because th there will be some delay before uh, it will be publicly accessed. Probably it won't work during this this time that we are here. Um, it will take some time. Uh, probably in a couple of hours it will work. It depends on the top level domain X Y Z. Oh, sorry, X Y. Typed the wrong. It still won't work. 
uh, take some time before that uh, will work. Um, mm, 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 what else did I plan to talk about? Yes. Uh, if we want to change name servers and don't talk to the, the one that I'm uh, currently using, you just type server and then the IP address or the name for a uh, name server that you use. So if I want to talk to Google's name servers, I just type the address. And then it will change my default server to 8.8.8.8. Uh, I can ask uh, the same question. Probably I won't get the same answer. Oh, sorry. Yes, it won't found, find that uh, address yet. Uh, I could uh, ask for an, uh, an iterative question so that the server will uh, only give back the best answer that it can get. Uh, and then you just type set no recurs. So it will be a non-recursive question. Uh, then I will get the fail back. Um, my plan was to get an, uh, the best answer, and probably that would be the server name, uh, the address for XYZ. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, if I exit it out and then enter NSLOOKUP again, uh, I will be back to my default name server. Yes, I'm back, but I, uh, oh yes, <laughs> the answer is cached, <laughs> of course. Uh, I've already asked this question and it will be cast, cached. That. So as best of his knowledge, this domain doesn't exist yet. Uh, if I want to know a specific type of question, if I wanted to know the name server for XYZ, uh, if I just type, uh, X, uh, so I said, oh, sorry. Okay, they have no address configured either. Okay. Uh, but I can ask for just the name server record, and that's uh, set type ns and now I will always answer uh, ask for the name servers so if I type google.com uh, yes uh, I will get this long list. We can look at the beginning. And I also set no recurs before. So it will say that it doesn't have the correct answer for google.com, but you can contact one of these uh, servers and they will know. And you can just change the server. Oh, yeah. The NS lookup console is quite horrible because you can't move. I try to uh, step back with uh, my arrow keys and it will <laughs> enter gibberish instead. Uh, and uh, the home button doesn't work either. So it's quite hard to, to work with this command. Uh, server. Uh, 
and google.com. Here we will get an answer because, okay, the name server for Google are these. Uh, if you wanted to contact them. Uh, we can set, turn back on the recursive question. I just set recurse and you can also ask for let's see uh, which mail server that uh, does lnu.se uh, use then we will ask for an MX record set type to MX and ask for lnu.se Okay, we still have the recursive questions because now I got back the, the root servers. We try again, set type MX. Here we go. So then I will get the mail servers for the lnu.se. So if someone tries to email someone at uh, lnu, they will send their mail to one of these servers. We can also connect to one of the root servers. Uh, server. And now we're connected to one of those. And the, these will probably only answer uh, the information for the top level domains. So if we ask again about um, set. No recurs. Nice. For my domain, uh, let's also set the type for my name service. Set type uh, ns. will then give uh, the answer that it hasn't the correct answer for this address. But the authoritative answer can be found on one of these servers. And these are probably the name servers for the uh, top level domain XYZ. So we can then walk the tree and connect to one of these servers. and ask the same question. Uh, it seems like refused. Okay, sorry. That it hasn't updated their record just yet because it doesn't even know uh, this domain, so it doesn't think that it exists. So it will probably take some time before it will work. Uh, it all depends on the, the top level domain and the registrator, how fast this will go. Uh, I usually buy .se addresses from my web hosting company and they usually work within minutes after I purchase them. So I've never purchased an XYZ domain before, so it could take some time. Um, when you're trying to troubleshoot DNS, it could be a good thing to know how to 
know how long will this record be on this server uh, if it's been cached. So you need to know how long the TL is left. And to see that, usually enable debug mode and to uh, the NS lookup. So just set debug. I'll probably exit it out before because I have a lot of settings I've just set, set up. So set debug. And if I will answer, ask a question about the A record for google.com, I will get a lot of information because I'm de in debug mode. And here you see TTL for all the different records. So here we have for the name server records, we have a TTL of 4571. If I ask the exact same question, it will have changed. So now it's only 40,545 seconds. So this record will be held on the server for that amount of time. And as you see, further up the chain, the TTL will be longer and longer, probably, for the different records. Uh, if you want to know the default of the standard time, you can ask for the, the start of authority record. If I set type SOA for google.com, I will in the beginning hopefully get that record. Yes. Uh, here we have the, the record. So we have the, the start of authority. We have this mail address that I talked about uh, in the lecture. So if you have some trouble with the, this uh, google.com, if they have some misuse or something, you can email dns.admin at uh, google.com. You have the current serial number uh, and these other values for how secondary uh, domain controllers should be. Uh, when they should update and uh, how often they should retry if they can't contact and stuff like that. And if they have records and can't contact the main server, uh, after that amount of time, 1,800 seconds, it will not answer to any qu for any questions. So Google has quite low uh, numbers here. You see, the default time to live is 60 seconds. They will get a lot of questions uh, to their name server, but they probably want that. Want that? They probably change IP addresses and add new names quite often. This uh, looks like they usually much higher than this. If we ask for the same for a top level, uh, a root server, didn't I have one of the root servers here? Yes, we can ask for the D root server. And as you see here, its minimum is, ooh, that's quite a lot. How many? Hmm, is that, to divide this with, hmm, sorry. That's in seconds. So I divide it with a few seconds. That's 150 days. So the, and, and these only hold the, the top level domain names. Uh, but the servers around the world will be able to cache uh, those records for 150 days. That's quite long. Um, Mm -hmm. Is there something else that I wanted to talk about? We have made different query types. We have enabled debugging. We have made recursive and iterative questions. You know how to change the servers for debugging or troubleshooting. And we register to the domain. We haven't been able to work with that domain yet, but we will 
uh, transfer that to our name servers in the next demo.